Aren't they beautiful? This row of modular buildings in the city. You know, I went back and watched a few of my older videos and I didn't have very many buildings at all to start with. I mean, like the bookshop was what we started with basically. And and we've grown to this big line of buildings <laughs> and I think it looks great. It, it really does. How you doing guys? It's Andy here. Let's talk about Lego. Thanks for tuning in and taking me along. I appreciate it as always. It's an exciting day. Another exciting day for Lego because guess what guys? We are going to do a Lego giveaway, okay? Forget about the 1,000 views on the other video. Forget about the 500 subscribers. We're going to do a Lego giveaway right now in this video because basically I had a video the other day that got up to 4,000 views, which I was never expecting. So that kind of makes up for the for the views that, that, that the 1,000 views that never got up to on that other giveaway video. So we're going to do it in this video and here's how it's going to work. We're going to give away three sets and three minifigures. That's out of all these sets and all my minifigures that I have. It's all, it's all your choice. So let's take a look at these sets individually. We have Santa's workshop creator three in one super bike houses of the world. One creator three in one dolphin and turtle. The good old moving truck, the 4x4 off-road ambulance rescue, Houses of the World 3, this guy here, which is the sunken treasure mission, 3-in-1 set as well, creator. Another creator, 3-in-1, deep sea creatures. We have this pirate playground, winter elves scene. This guy right here doesn't have a name, but it's one of those rides that you can get with your insider points. I had a duplicate somehow, so I figured I'd give this one away. We've got this Blacktron Cruiser. And then finally we have this Mystic Witch Creator 3-in-1. Looks like you can make a cat with a hat and something else. <laughs> so there you go. Those are the sets that we are giving away. Well, not all of them at once, but you can pick from three of those sets as well as three minifigures, and uh, that'll be the prize. Now, the way we're going to do it is to enter, all you got to do is make a comment on this video, this video only. Make a comment. If you don't have anything else to say, just put in giveaway entry, and that'll be sufficient. And then I'm going to wait three days, three days from the release of this video to get as many comments as we can get, as many entries as we can get. And then at the end of the three days, I will count up the number of entries, the number of comments, and then we will do a random number generator between one and that max number of comments. I'll count down. Whatever that number comes out to be, I'll count down to that comment, and that'll be the winner. I mean, I don't think we can get any more random than that, right? <laughs> does that sound good to you guys? If it does, like this video and subscribe to my channel. That would be excellent. So yeah, we'll we'll get this uh, we'll get this thing going. I mean, I, I I know I've been promising a giveaway for a long time, and we just haven't got met the criteria for it. And I'm like, you know what? Let's just do this. You know, these you, these guys have been waiting forever. Let's just do this giveaway, and and that's we're gonna do it. I've been kind of thinking about building this guy here soon. This is the uh, 60335 train station city set. I like the little bus that it comes with, and that little. Uh, I don't know what you want to call that. The truck that's on the tracks. It's got the porta potty and it's, I don't know, probably a track cleaner or something like that. Some kind of maintenance truck. That's pretty cool. And then it's not much of a station. I might have to uh, modify it a little bit to make it more, I don't know. I, I, it might be okay by it, the way it is. I don't know. This is a wait and see when I build it if I like it or not. But it's cool. I mean, it's got like an ATM there. And it's got like a little bench with some advertising on there. And this upper part up here, I'm not sure what exactly. That, I guess that's like maybe where they run the trains from or, 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 or not run the trains, but like air traffic control, except for trains, I guess. And it's something like that. Thinking about building this guy, putting it somewhere in the city. Where do you think would be a good place to put it at? 
probably i would say right there next to the railroad crossing like oh on this side of the tracks like right over there or on this side of the tracks perhaps i mean that would be the most visible spot to put it of course we could put it over here somewhere as well you know maybe uh maybe even right over here or right here you know it's i don't know i'm i'm kind of leaning towards you know over here or here or over the other side of this tracks in this this area somewhere but uh, we'll figure it out I also want to get my um, outdoor tree park area started soon, too. And that's going to be basically where these sets are sitting right now on this little corner angle piece where I'm going to put the tree house, probably the A-frame cabin, and the Disney uh, Winnie the Pooh set that has the tree win, uh, included in it as well. So I want to start working on that soon, but also... I want to start working on my winter holiday setup too, which is behind those police station boxes. I had to put those up because Doodlebug kept jumping up on that table and finding his way onto the platform, which is a big no-no. I don't want no cats on top of my platform because, yeah, I, I came in one day and found Lego on the floor. Things were knocked over. Things were knocked down. And I'm like, how the heck did you get up there, Doodlebug? Because they, they can't jump this high. It's like, uh, I don't know, 40 inches off the ground or something like that. And they can't jump that high. But he was using that table to get up there. So I put the boxes there so he couldn't jump up on the table and couldn't get up here. So, <laughs> But anyway, my Winter Village stuff is still behind there. That's I need to get started on that. It is the 1st of November today. So if we're going to have any display time you know, throughout the holidays, I need to get busy on that too. So... Yes, we will be getting that stuff soon. Also going to start building the Boutique Hotel soon as well, because that was suggested in the comments before to uh, build that next after my rebrickable building. So we'll get on it. Got lots to do. What do you guys think of my new Brickheads display? Remember the other day I was talking about getting those acrylic risers to display my Brickheads? Well, I did. And here it is. Looking pretty good, huh? I've still got plenty of room on that one over here to uh, put more on. I did add a couple new ones. I don't know if you guys can spot them. Right there's one, Beauty and the Beast, the Beast. And there's another one, the Scarecrow. And let's see, which other ones did I just build? Uh Oh. Black Widow from the Marvel Universe. And, oh, the kitties, the uh, ginger tabby cats right there. So that's the new ones I just built. So, yeah, the only thing that I don't like, well, I won't even say don't like, but I, I wish the risers were a little bit higher so that it didn't cut off like the bottom of the ones that are in the back. You know what I mean? Like you, so you could see more of the ones in the back, but it's not too bad. It really isn't. And these things were, I think, like twelve bucks a piece. So I mean, you can't complain too much. If I put them all like that across this shelf, I should be able to definitely fit them all in here. I would think. I moved all of the ones that I still have to build over to these shelves right here. So we got these, and those, and all those up there. Those are all brickheads still yet to be built. Hey, we could add one of those uh, flower uh, bulb things to the giveaway if you guys would want one of those. I, d I didn't figure anybody would want one. That's why I didn't throw it in there. But who knows? Maybe you guys do. Let me know in the comments. And I'll uh, include that as one of the choices as well. But anyway, guys, I think that's going to wrap things up for this video. I do appreciate you guys taking me along as always. And uh, that's going to be it. So don't forget to like, smash the like button, smash that subscribe button, and make sure you comment so you can enter to win because we are doing the giveaway now. And I will see you guys in the next video. Good luck on the giveaway. You guys have a great day. We'll see you. Bye-bye. <laughs>